You can look at those chevrons. Orientation of those chevrons is aligned with the direction that the of the inflow of the wave. And then the outflow is going to more or less be the reverse of that. It's going to flow in, it's going to flow out. And if you look at those chevrons and, and imagine that the chevrons just flip and they're V's, they're going to be pointed in the direction where that wave originated because somewhere that wave originated. Now, what would cause that wave? Is it an earthquake? Well, maybe, except one problem there. The problem is simply that the energy released in earthquakes are usually not going to be considered strong enough because we've seen some, you know, the Indonesian earthquake of what was it, 2004? That was a big earthquake and it was a big tidal wave. I mean, it was in some places it was over 100 feet high, but it was not 600 feet high. Earthquakes seem to have a limit of the amount of energy they can release that would be available for producing an extremely high wave. A wave like this could very likely be explained by a, a hypervelocity bolide impact into the ocean.